Here we are smack dab in the middle of back to school season and low price Chromebooks are getting harder than ever to find. But one Chromebook that's been available across multiple channels is this one, the Samsung Chromebook 4 and 4 Plus, which is the one we have our hands on right here. So we wanna do a quick unboxing, get some initial impressions because we've not spent any time with this Chromebook yet so that you might be able to find one of these before school gets started again. It needs to be said that we did not jump on reviewing this device right out of the gate uh, for a handful of reasons. It's just one of those Chromebooks that doesn't bring a ton of like really interesting stuff to the table. And it's always been priced a little bit too high, I think. So this device has the N4000 processor, the Gemini Lake processor that tons of other Chromebooks have. And honestly, it's just not been that exciting of a Chromebook to think about because the price has been a little bit too high compared to other devices that are similarly spec. So. We just kind of kept pushing off this review. We couldn't get a review unit from Samsung and just weren't really sure that this was one that we would really want to encourage our readers and our viewers to go check out. But we're now in the middle of the back to school rush and Chromebooks are getting insanely hard to find. But the 4 Plus is available at quite a few places, at least as of the time of filming this. So we wanted to do unbox it and give you some initial impressions because ultimately I have no impressions of this device. I saw it at a store once and kind of looked at it real quick, but didn't really spend much time getting my hands on it. So uh, I thought this was a CD, I swear to God. I thought this was like, they were gonna put like a CD in here. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? It is not a CD. Okay, that's whatever. Uh, Interesting. Uh, it's a nicer charger than you get in most uh, low-end Chromebooks. Honestly, you usually get the big, you know, normal three-prong thing and the block and then another cable. So you're getting a nice chunky block here. Uh, it says Samsung fast charging, so it's probably at least a 30 watt, if not 45, and a, and a pretty nice cable. I mean, again, you get excited about little things in low-end Chromebooks. That's a, that's a nicer than normal charging setup. Uh, for uh, an affordable Chromebook. And I believe we got our hands on this one for uh, just over $300, so somewhere in that realm. Obviously, Chromebook prices are fluctuating wildly right now, but it seems like across the board, the prices on this particular Chromebook aren't going crazy, which is nice to see because this is gonna be a decently good Chromebook for students, uh, for basic education tasks, that kind of stuff. Uh, we just need to see if it's, you know, worth the money, basically. And as other Chromebooks, like I said, are getting harder to find, uh, it's harder to find decent deals on stuff. And, you know, it actually, it feels really solid. That, that might be an aluminum top, actually. Definitely a plastic on the bottom, but really good looking. So around the sides, you know, you get this nice, just squared off look. And again, we've seen this in photos, but... It's hard to tell whether this will translate on the video, but I don't know, that squared off gives kind of this uh, pixel book-ish, almost Chromebook pixel vibe. Um, and it's not like unwieldy. Again, really kind of sturdy for what I would call an entry level, you know, basic Chromebook. Uh, inside is definitely plastic. And then as we move, you know, this is, again, like I said, this is, a very simple take, no backlit keyboard here, no upward firing speakers, a plastic trackpad, it's nice and large. Click mechanism feels pretty good. There's a little bit of give here in the in the top part here. The typing experience is probably gonna be okay as well. Again, this is a 300 to $400 Chromebook, so you can't expect too much out of it. Um, yeah, the bottom's, the bottom's relatively flimsy um, down here, so again, you kind of get what you pay for in these scenarios. But I want to boot this thing up and actually type a few things on it, see what the screen looks like. That's probably the most important thing. What's the trackpad screen and keyboard feel like, at least on first blush, so that you can maybe take this unboxing video and make a decision whether or not you want to pull the trigger on this thing. Because like I said, stock for Chromebooks is just kind of plummeting. So we're gonna take a break real quick, power this thing on and check it out. Okay, so cheated a little bit, and while we were powering it on, I went ahead and just ran a couple little tests on it, basically. Feeling what the thing feels like is you're actually gonna be handling it, listening to the speakers just a little bit, and then obviously going through the login screens and getting everything set up, forming a couple of opinions about the screen. So I wanna talk to you about those specific things really quickly. Again, I'm not spending any time with this other than the few minutes I've been on camera here, but 
time is of the essence right now. And so if you need to make a Chromebook purchase, you probably don't have time for us to wait to do two or three weeks in a review on this thing. You need to decide now whether it's worth the money. So I did go and check, $299 is what we paid for this one at Walmart. It's gonna be similarly priced at samsung.com. It's available at Best Buy as well. I think B&H Photo sells it. We'll compile the links and we'll make sure all those links are available on Chrome Shop and the link will be in the description in the video. All that to say, you need to know at 300 bucks, you're getting a couple good things here and you're getting a couple of flimsy, crappy things here as well. So uh, the keyboard feels great. So again, if we're thinking about students, they're gonna be typing a lot. The keyboard feels excellent. It's not backlit, but it's really clicky. It's very nice, it feels great to type on uh, so far. The, the look and aesthetic of the device is actually really attractive on the table until you open it up and you see the screen. Um, you can probably tell, I'm gonna kind of tilt it. I would assume you'll be able to pick up on that kind of stuff. It is a TN panel, so there's no surprises here. It doesn't have very good off angle viewing. I will say left to right off angle. You can probably tell this here. You don't lose too much whenever you go left and right, but you go forward and back and you're gonna lose all kinds of brightness. The colors are gonna blow out. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of a mess. So you really have to angle the thing back quite a bit. It's not a fold flat, but it does open up pretty well here. You can see it opens up at a decent angle. And that's a good thing because if you're a taller person or you're sitting up high on the desk or whatever, you're gonna have to angle that thing back pretty good to kind of get all the colors that should be on the screen. And because it's a 15.6 inch screen, you're not gonna get all those colors anyway because there's probably no one angle where you're gonna be able to see the entire screen perfectly. It's a TN panel, they're cheap and they, you know, show you what's on the screen and don't do much else, but it's usable, it's serviceable, it works. Uh, and the keyboard is really good. The trackpad is plastic and isn't the smoothest thing I've ever felt, but the click mechanism feels good. It's very spacious. Uh, and so I don't think it'll be a problem either. The issue is a good keyboard and trackpad are like 90% of the answer. The other problem usually comes in with flex on the keyboard deck. And this one has got it, you know, a decent amount of it. Uh, when the when the things open a little more, I'm gonna slide it forward just a little bit. You can see it kind of loses all sorts of firmness there. So like for some reason when it's up here, it's a lot more stable. The minute this thing goes back, I think what happens is the hinge on the bottom actually lifts the Chromebook up a little bit. Uh, you can probably see that here in the side view. You can see it picks it up and when it does so, you really feel the flimsiness here. But it's, when it's all set, when the whole base is on the ground, it's, it's pretty firm. So again, a little bit of an oddball design decision there. We're pretty sure the top here is aluminum, which is awesome uh, in a $300 Chromebook, but the bottom is gonna feel a little bit flimsy. So you've got a kind of mediocre screen, but it is 1080p, uh, full HD. Uh, you've got a good keyboard and a decent trackpad. We also tested the speakers. Uh, I will actually, the time they're not the loudest. About is what um, it is that's in my bag between all what you'll hear is the music so kind of kicks in here device to it's a decently full sound about. again the not the reasons. loudest thing ever but like the sound is actually pretty full and better than a lot of you know better spec more expensive chromebooks that we've tried so that's kind of a nice surprise. And so ultimately the N4000 is gonna perform pretty well. You're gonna be able to do multitasking better than older generation education focused Chromebooks. This one comes with 64 gigs of storage. There's a version available with 128 gigs of storage. It's paired up with four gigs of RAM. And so let's talk real quick too about the outside portion. You have a USB type A, which is very nice. Uh, so if you have any dongles or anything you need to plug in there, that's awesome. And then you got a USB type C on both sides. It's gonna do all the stuff USB type C does and micro SD card slot in case you have files that need to be saved and transferred, headphone microphone jack. So utilitarian, that's what this thing is. It's just enough to get the job done. It's like Pixel 4a approach to a Chromebook. There's nothing striking about it. There's nothing, nothing amazing about it, uh, but I think it's gonna do the job. I think it's gonna be a device that for a lot of students just does enough to get by, to get you through schoolwork, to take care of those assignments, to get some stuff done. But guys, that's it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see ya.